Okay, peeps. I was just going to bring you to uh, an article I was doing. I, I posted up about 10 articles on nuclear news. And the last one, uh, which was done, done about probably coming up for an hour ago, um, basically uh, was about radioactive depleted uranium, about nine kilograms of it, uh, around about four and a half million dollars worth in India. Right. That's big bucks. You know, it's huge bucks for India. Um, and it had been, uh, well, the, in the police are saying uh, from Thane that uh, it come in from uh, uh, abroad, quote unquote, and, uh, and that uh, they'd captured it, thank heavens. But uh, it might just be the tip of the iceberg, maybe. Anyway, so obviously nuclearnews.net is one of the biggest uh, blogs on the internet for anti, well, it's not just anti-nuke, but, uh, but uh, with nuclear and energy issues uh, and climate change as well. So uh, the bottom line is, uh, if I was to post this, post an article up on it, it would come up at the top of the search, you know, because it's, it's very high in the rankings. Uh, we, we had roughly, uh, well, we get about 500,000 uh, views per year, um, <clears throat> especially the last two years. Uh, we've got a good team of three of us that have been really uh, working hard to uh, research and post up uh, all the information. And, uh, of course, Christina and myself were doing a little bit of work before that. And then a few years before that, um, Christina, or Noel Bocomp, uh, had been doing... Um, <clears throat> Uh, sort of all the, the whole thing on her own uh, to get the thing uh, up and running anyway I'm gonna just I've put the, the headline from the article I'm gonna hit click and see what we get right okay so and I've put the last 24 hours um, and I just wanted to show you that uh, nuclear-news.net and all the all the hits seem to be from India you get the Indian hits no probs uh, you've got the Deccan Chronicle there um, but some some blogs have got some of it um, from yesterday. It was the twenty first actually. It first came out. Um, okay, so let's just uh, see if we can get it on uh, <coughs> one hour. Maybe it will come up. Defence News India, IDRW. Presume that's Indian. Uh, can India? Yeah. New X. Uh, it seems like I'm not sure which one that is. Web India. O India. Punjab Trim but tri uh, Tribune, India Leak. Uh, oh, I think that's a uh, Middle Eastern, Bombay Informer. Okay, look, and I'll just I'll do this as well. Twelve minutes ago, News Locker, another Middle Eastern, and uh, I think that's Indian. By the look of it, Hyper Dad. But anyway, all right. So it's not it's not coming up, and um, and it's not coming up this story at all in any of the Western media whatsoever and now of course you're saying well you know your your blog's rubbish so uh, how do we know oh, this is it by the way I'll just quickly show you it nuclear-news.net and that's our opening one that's uh, that's the headline that I, I cut and pasted uh, let's go to the one I did just before it and uh, I did that oh hang on a minute I have to go back because I've uh, <coughs> right so click on nuclear news just let it reboot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, uh, for December 16th, that's the article there. Uh, four and a half million US dollars worth. That's huge, isn't it? Anyway, I've done like France or Eva, the case of the Iranian book burning out. The French are out going to war with Greenpeace at the moment, so you didn't imagine that this would be blocked, wouldn't you? Um, <clears throat> and I have checked out all the other posts to see if they were blocked. Uh, let's just see. But burning up, oh, well, it's more than I don't have to do that because I did that about three hours ago over the past 24 hours. Nuclear news, and uh, yeah, well, you know, and let's see if I can get uh, uh, an article basically because I made that headline up a bit naughty. Uh, petition, no, I made that one up as well. Let's find one that's no, that's a French one, so I made that one up. Uh, no, I made that up. <laughs> uh, Greenpeace France reacts to it. Yeah, that's that's another headline I made up. I didn't make it up. I just created it. Uh, um, oh, bugger. All right, hang on. Let's try it this way. All right, I'll, you should get Facebook and all sorts coming up here. So I'll go back to search. I've just cut and pasted a bit of 
bit of text out. I'll do some translation so you won't find that anywhere else on the on the web either. Uh, nuclearnews.net straight away, nuclearnews.net. I mean that's just to show you. Um, I hope I did I get that? Yeah, you've got it here. Yeah. So you can see it's a very you know it's it's very high ranking on the internet and um, just a bit of the text and bang we've got it come up. Um, now <coughs> what I'll do um, also just to see if because sometimes uh, on my European Newsweekly dot uh, wordpress.com site <laughs> anything nuclear has been blocked right um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy right I'm going to go back here so I've copped a, uh, just got a bit of the pet the, the text which is uh, is as you know it has it on oh come on all right so paste okay we'll hit hit that oh I've added the four thousand dollars worth oh and it doesn't even come up right four thousand three hundred US dollars worth so it's not even recognizing the text all right that's crazy uh, right okay so I'll I'll remove the bit I put in all right okay so we should get that shouldn't we okay so we've got the frustrated Indian uh, business standard new INS all right that's uh, Indian 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 cyber top top Thane Masharata IANS again that's Indian. Uh, article dot W N. Ah, okay. Let's see. And that was 17 hours ago. Let's have a look at that one. W well, World Nuclear. Uh, oh, R O R O S E R E D. And in Facebook as well. So it hasn't come up on the R S O E D S face um, web page. It's come up on somebody's Facebook page from Poland. All right, that got through. Actually, I'll I'll, I'll try and just see. If uh, right, that's that's the world nuclear news. What have they put? They said uh, it's been seen from two persons in Thane. Have seen your police said on Monday. Is that it? <laughs> that's that's all they put up. And then uh, yeah, news track India, Deccan Chronicle, DNA India. So it's only Indian articles anyway. So our uh, oh right, we've got uh, Edis Hungary. So Hungary has put it out. Have they? Uh, let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. Report South Korea. Uh, oh, one hour ago, fire in Japan. Blazed up in a ramen shop. All right, bloody hell. Uh, RS Hazmat. Oh, I'm not going to go through it. This probably is on the R S O E. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, the hungry version <laughs> has posted it up. Uh, anyway. That's all I wanted to do. I want to keep this really short and just let you know that um, and that, that this story is uh, very sensitive. It's being blocked. I'm going to stick up on YouTube to try and get around the censorship. Um, and away you go. Uh, the reason I noticed it, by the way, because I was on Fukushima 311 Watchdogs, um, which was here. And uh, <clears throat> I was going, why isn't the certain articles aren't getting any traction, which I've placed on there. I'll just take you there. And um, basically, look, police sees nine kilograms, no reach. Also, the French one, no, uh, uh, which is about uh, Arriva, um, there's no no reach. We've had a couple of others. One, uh, uh, that's the Chernobyl children's story, 49. Um, that's the Israeli government taking Venunu to court, zero reach. Um, shared a post that's one of the that's with uh, the French activist whose house got raided by the security services and he um, and also uh, three activists were held for three days and another thing in you know Greenpeace activists uh, Fukushima shared a post yeah that's wanted that was me putting a wanted picture up on the EDF guy um, and a bad story with him once again zero sh zero reach and of course when you look at all the rest uh, the only other zero we had uh, is that one? Let's have a look. Let's see what that one is. I haven't seen it. Uh, it's in Japanese. Let's check out the translation. Foundation of the thyroid test of prefecture. Uh, do 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 do. It's nice to have a thyroid test nearby pollution is not to do. Uh, if this proposal, the people of Fukushima and prefecture will be called the people of the people, the people of the people from that country. We call on the national science of citizens of the nation. It was opposed. The Fukushima prefectural governor opposed. The reduction of, of the thyroid test of Fukushima Prefecture, which sought further improvement in neighbouring prefectures. 
So, I mean, they, they just don't want to test. The Japanese don't want to test for thyroid. Uh, they only admit to one thyroid cancer by one of the workers. The children who are way more susceptible to, uh, to thyroid uh, from the iodine release in March of 2011. Uh, there's 150 that have had thyroids removed. Um, and according to Geraldine Thomas, that's because their parents drink alcohol and smoke fags or they've got a virus or it was just a coincidence. Uh, but anyway, that's um, that's that's been blocked as well. Oh, look, there you are, Geraldine Thomas, Imperial College University, <laughs> to join. Pre oh, she's joining the pre prefectural committee. Oh, no. Oh, that's interesting. I think I have to do an article on that. Anyway, it's a small world, isn't it? So somebody is obviously blocking Facebook and uh, and obviously that uh, depleted uranium story is being blocked by by the actual. Uh, that's crazy. Thyroid test of Fukushima is 9 nice December. The president of the Research Institute of the Research Institute of Radiation, the president of the Institute of Radiation Institute, and the I love Japanese translation, and the vice president of the International Committee Radiation Protection Committee, Geraldine Ann Thomas, Imperial College London professor. Man, they just don't want these people that are lying about the radiation. You know, Keith Baverstock uh, in in the Fission Line 45, I think it was episode 45 or, or 46, he sat down, he said, that woman is really dangerous. She's going to end up killing people with the um, so-called health advice that she's been given. And Keith Baverstock was uh, in charge of the World Health Organization radiological department for, um, you know, uh, after Chernobyl. He was the one that discovered the thyroid cancer and he just slated her because she's dangerous and she's also the special the, the person who is in charge of you know one of the health experts who advised on the British nuclear test veterans as well and we're waiting for the um, results of that six months after the end of the court case you know it should have come in six weeks um, I have no doubt it will probably turn up you know around Christmas when everybody's doing other stuff um, but we'll be really pushing that if it does come up we'll be pushing that like buggery in January just to try and get it out to you but you can see what uh, what we're up against here anyway enough of that um, I'll keep it short because you guys need to get off and watch um what was it i don't know uh benefit street or whatever you watch anyway take care good luck and bye bye merry christmas as well by the way